Good morning, Calvary. This is Pastor Mitch with your word for the day. Today, we will be reading out of Mark chapter 8. But before we get there, I have a few questions for you. Have you ever wondered what God is up to in your life? Maybe you've asked God a few of the following questions. Like, God, why did you let me lose my job? God, why did you let my mom, my dad, or my child get sick? Or why did you let my family fall apart? See, quite often we get upset with God for the bad things that are going on in our life. Sometimes we get upset with him because things don't go the way that we planned them to, or things don't turn out the way that we wished. And I don't believe that every bad thing that happens to us is a part of, is a part of God's plan for our lives, but I do believe that he can use those bad experiences to help us grow and to help us get to a place where we can be a blessing to others. See, three years ago, I was called into my boss's office where they let me know that I would no longer be employed and serving in the position that I was in. This news was unexpected, and it was definitely a hard blow. And I remember as I was cleaning out my office, just thinking through the thoughts of, how am I going to tell my wife? How are we going to pay our mortgage? How am I going to take care of my kids? And all these thoughts start running through my mind, and at the time I was thinking that this was the worst possible thing that could have ever happened to me. And I begin to start asking God, why? Why would he let this happen to me and my family? But these events that I thought were the worst thing that could happen uh, to me ended up being one of the best things as it led to where I'm at today at Calvary. And it gave me the opportunity to reach even more people with the gospel message than I could before. In our verse today, uh, we get to see an exchange between the Apostle Peter and Jesus And we see Jesus unveil his plan, and immediately Peter calls it into question. In Mark chapter 8, starting in verse 31, we see, it says, And Jesus began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed. And after three days rise again. And he said this plainly. And Peter took him aside, and he began to rebuke him. But turning and seeing his disciples, Jesus rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. See, Peter heard God's plan for redeeming the world through the sacrifice of Jesus, but Peter didn't like it. He thought that he, in all of his wisdom, could surely figure out a better plan than our all-powerful and all-knowing God. And Jesus quickly points out two things wrong with Peter's point of view. Number one, Peter was limited in his thinking, and he didn't see things from God's point of view. And number two, Peter had, in part, abandoned his commitment to following Jesus and was now trying to lead Jesus instead. See, many times we also think that we must know better than God, that we care more, that we see more, that we understand more than God. And so we decided to shape his will to ours. So my challenge for you today is to think about how do you respond to difficult moments? Do you blame God and rebuke him? Or do you lean into him even further? As you wrestle with this question, commit to taking uh, these next two steps. One, ask God to help you see things through his eyes, to see your situation, to see others how God sees them. And number two, Get behind Jesus. Make a commitment to follow him wherever he leads. Because we know that when we are living out the plan that God has for us, he's going to be with us through it all. Thank you guys for tuning in to your word for the day. If you enjoyed today's content, please like it, share it, and comment below. We'll see you guys tomorrow.